Hello to all of my Pisces. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Pisces, let's go. The moon is currently in Cancer. So you're feeling the, the effects of the moon in Gemini move through into the moon in Cancer through the zodiac sign Gemini from Gemini to Cancer. So Gemini is ruled by Mercury, which is a communication and messenger planet. So if you look at it this way, Pisces, everything that has access to your universe, whether it's um, and, and the communication that has been sent to you, whether it's verbal or nonverbal or anything else in between, hopefully you're catching the messages so that you can make some uh, make some decisions about some things in your universe. Let's get into your let's get into your reading. Pisces, let's go. I'm talking to you if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, not just your sun sign. But if your moon, rising, Venus, or wherever Pisces is in your birth chart, I am talking to you. So that means my cross watchers. If you have Pisces in your birth chart, if you haven't pulled your birth chart, the link to pull a free birth chart is below all of my readings. And the link is the, is, is, if you look in the description of all of my readings, you have the link for my second channel, the link for um, dream interpretation. I think I have something down there for dream interpretation. I think I have something down there for the birth slash natal chart. Lots of information in the description. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. I'll put the questions for the moon and if I if I don't haven't had the if I have not had an opportunity to put the questions for the moon and cancer in the previous reading, then I'll put the moon and cancer below. But if not, then prepare you for the next moon phase, uh, which will the moon will be in Leo. I'll put those those questions below. The thought invoking questions. Let's go. All right, Ten of Wands, we have the Moon card, we have the Devil card, we have the Star card, we have the Sun card, and also the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody's going through some major life changes that can either make you booked and busy or booked, busy, burdened, and bitter, right? So whatever it is, here we have the Star card. <clears throat> we also have the Sun card. We also have the Moon card. We also have the Wheel card and also the Devil card. Something from your past is trying to resurface, right? Some kind of overwhelming feeling from your past is trying to resurface. And whether it's a person, place, or thing, but it's the, somebody could, you all are the I believe sign. So you believe something from your past is trying to creep back in. It doesn't always mean a physical person. It's a feeling of just being overwhelmed by something, right? So let's say you had a dream about somebody, or you have somebody currently in your life right now, you're, you're learning how to listen to how you feel about things. Cancer is the um, I feel sign. <clears throat> it's also ruled by the moon. So everybody is feeling this double need for security in all of the relationships. Um, all, of your, uh, all of your relationships, you feel a double need for security, stability, and protection. So if you remember some things from your past where you felt uh, overwhelmed and, and left vulnerable and unprotected Pisces, if you're in relationships right now, whether they're family relationships, friendships, that's like family, jobs, whatever you're in, if you don't feel nurtured, protected, and secure, guess what? It's time to go ahead and start closing out cycles, no matter who it is. We're talking about spirits. We're not necessarily talking about the physical body, whether you're blood-related friends you've known for many, many years, whomever, it's time to go ahead and start closing out those cycles and what? And love, right? So that you can be booked and busy and not burdened and bitter and left in a state of confusion. Um, this this wand's energy is connected to fire. Fire, we're talking about the, the element of fire is connects us to our solar plexus chakra. So that means that if you are around people who are narcissistic, people who burn you out, you know, or leave you in a state of confusion, or you feel like you have low self-esteem around them, narcissistic energy, people who are um, mental abuse, you know, mental abusers, um, or people you feel like, okay, I, I don't feel willful. I don't feel like it's a willful act for me to be around them. It's almost like it's just like pulling teeth for me to even answer the phone when they call or, you know, go into that particular job. Remember, we're talking about your work and your your, your personal and your professional life. Source is saying, then it's time for you to make the change. It's time for you to take action or else you will come across to other people as reflecting that same burnt out energy. Confusion, right? Um, okay, this car came out early. 777, I'm in the flow. Usually we, and I, we'll talk about it at, at the end of the reading. Usually that card is pulled at the end of the, the reading. But yeah, some kind of overwhelming feeling about some things from your past could be resurfacing. And it can even be in like, for instance... 
you could have been um, married a couple of times and something in your kids could show up and, you know, that's overwhelming. Something about their energy could show up from something from the past. Again, take only what resonates with you, right? If that's not your story, then that's that's not the part you're taking, you know, with you. But whatever it is that's overwhelming you in your life right now, doesn't matter who it is, whatever that spirit is of overwhelming you, doesn't matter what physical body it comes in or if it's a job, person, place, or thing, then it's time to start start thinking about, I need to detach from it. Very unhealthy emotions attached. That's a demonic tie. They are not a demon. You're a, not a demon. But this is, this is you attached to your attached to fear, doubt, uncertainty, whatever your demons are. So source is saying to you, here we have the Princess of Cups, the Chariot card, the Wheel of the Year, Justice card, La Luna, and Judgment card. Source is saying to you, it's time for you to... You know, something about, you know, this is all about balance, 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 balance. The moon card, La Luna came out twice. So it could be several energies from your past that are trying to resurface. Source is saying to you, listen, the overwhelming feeling, it doesn't have to be overwhelming. Listen to your chakra cleansing music on a regular basis. Make that so much a part of your routine. The answers that you need are so clear that it doesn't come across as confusing or accusatory of somebody else. Right. It's more or less like this is my universe. I don't feel nurtured when I'm in, in certain spaces with certain people, places and things. And so that's all I need. That's the only explanation I need. I don't feel nurtured. I don't feel protected. I don't feel secure in those relationships. Boom. That's it. You don't have to add a whole lot of extra. Well, they came from this kind of family and you paying playing baby psychologists. And, and all of a sudden, you 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 know where they came from, their ancestral line, and all of this stuff. You don't have to do all of that. That's doing the most. Source is saying to you, all you need to know is that you're breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. And there are some people that you left behind in your past that feel like you're harshly judging them or you're about to leave them behind. They think that you're harshly judging them, and you absolutely should because if they want access to your fire, which are your ideas, your water, which are your emotions, your air, which are your thoughts, that power and intellect, and also earth, which is your finances, right? Your money, your security, your stability, all those things that resources that you are have that you have earned that cause you to have a better life here on earth, then you they should be under your judgment. They should be under your judgment, right? So now that you're breaking cycles, chains, and curses from things in the past and you're leaving it all behind and you're focusing on your sunlight, your sun sign, your purpose, what sets me apart from every other Pisces on the planet? Again, the birth chart link is in the description. Pull it. No matter where Pisces is in your birth chart, I am talking to you. Source is rewarding you for, to, for releasing those energies, releasing those energies off of your scales so that you don't feel overwhelmed by those energies. And that's where the reward is coming from. So whoever it is or whatever it is, Source is saying to you, release it, release it. Like stop talking about it. Stop getting burned out about it. How many signs do you need? Release whomever it is, release it. You're too busy breaking generational cycles, chains and curses. This is the will of the year. Source is saying this number 10 right here, Roman numeral 10. 10 is the number of instant manifestation. So Source is saying, are you instantly manifesting unnecessary struggle? by speaking negative over a situation or are you manifesting in instant freedom from a situation by releasing yourself? You have to decide. So here's some, here we have the princes of cups. Source is saying to you, I'm sending, I'm sending new creative ideas across your path. It could be new, uh, like a, a muse. It could be a new creative ideas that's going to keep you booked and busy and not burdened and better, but you're going to have to release something in order to be able to handle the duty and responsibility that's trying to come your way moving forward. You're going to have to release something that's either in your life right now. They have to be the sacrifice, people, places, and things, or, you know, you're, you're delaying your own time. You're standing in your own way. So you choose, you choose, but that's what I'm saying for you all. I, I do see some kind of, like I said, see this crab right here? This crab, source is saying to you, when crab, we're not talking about a cancer in particular, even though cancer's card is up here. This is cancer's card. <clears throat> you could have cancer in your birth chart. But source is saying to you, um, like a crab, 
whenever you put those feelers out in situations and you still feel uncovered, unnurtured, or like a person is manipulating you to some degree and you don't really trust the energy, it's time now to go ahead and close out the cycle. It's time to go ahead and close out the cycle so that you can move forward. So that you can move forward from a situation. It's time to close out the cycle. Here we have the Queen of Pentacles, the, the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, World Card, Hermit Card, and Tower Card. So your reputation is still intact, Pisces. And again, I'm not just talking to you if your sun sign is Pisces. I'm talking to you wherever Pisces is in your chart. If you're tuned in, it's not by coincidence, right? And, and just for so everybody knows, sometimes when you're seeking answers, when you're, when you're looking at readings, source will sometimes, depending on what a situation is, like if, you're, if your past is trying to resurface, you're like, oh my God, it was just that traumatic. And you know, somebody knows what your sun sign is, your moon, you know, somebody knows those, those, those uh, elements of you or those aspects of you. Sometimes they will, people will be watching your sun sign thinking that, okay, let me see, listen, let me see what's going on in Pisces life right now. Let me see if I can, sometimes source will hide it in other aspects of your birth chart. Like sometimes source will, for instance, your Venus is love life, right? So sometimes you find out what your moon, what your sign is in Venus, source will hide it in that video. Or if you're saying, okay, well, my Saturn, Saturn is the planet of uh, rules and structure and tradition and discipline and all of that. And you're saying, okay, I'm getting real serious about my life. Let me see what's going on here. Find out what your sign is in Saturn, right? If, if you're saying, okay, if if I know if I need to know how to be nurtured, then find out what your moon sign and watch that video. Hopefully, that makes sense to somebody because, again, depending on how traumatic a past was for somebody or how traumatic something is in your life right now, source might not just have it in your sun sign. So, I'm trying to teach people on my channel how to look at other other placements in your chart. And some people have already done that. Some people are like, oh my God, now it's like putting together a puzzle and it all makes sense now, right? So source is saying your reputation is intact. So it doesn't matter who's saying what about you, whether it's in your life right now or people from your past, people still see you as an asset to their lives. So source says in order for you to stay on that throne, that queen of pentacles throne, and I'm talking to men and women Pisces, don't step down off of your throne and entertain anything from your past. Don't go backwards. Keep on moving forward. So here we have the three of pentacles. So there are some people who, from your past who are saying some, there's some people from your past who are, it's, it's a mixture, good things about you and also, you know, some questionable things about you. You're not going backwards, right? You're not doing an electric slide back into your past. <laughs> and so if anything, you're saying, you know what? I'm moonwalking to my future, right? I'm, I'm, I'm just gliding right into my future. And I'm, I'm ready for certain things, right? So I do see somebody getting married. Again, if, if that's what you want, marriage and business or marriage and love, if that's what you want. But source is saying, leave the past in the past. And if there's any energies in your life right now where you feel like I need to sacrifice those energies so I can live my absolute best life, then that's what you need to do. Some people are going through a tower moment. Some people from your past, things are not working out for them. And, 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 but for you, you're having an epiphany. The epiphany is, okay, the more and more I stay in my sunlight, my creative life force, my life purpose. This is the sun, right? I feel youthful. I feel more energetic. I feel, I feel more alive, right? And so somebody is saying, I, I, I can take care of myself. I'm self-sufficient. I'm independent. But again, if you desire marriage, source is saying to you, that's, you got to make room for that person to come into your life, whether it's marriage and business or marriage and romantic relationship. And the, the room that you're making is within, so that means that's first and foremost that you're making room. This this is beyond just making room in your in your bathroom. So let me get my double sinks together, make me move all of my stuff from one side to and then from from both sides to one side, or let me clear out space in my closet. It's beyond that. It's make room by detaching yourself from your fear, doubt, uncertainty, all of those things, right? And recognizing what those triggers are. What is it that's causing me to be weighed down or chained to fear, doubt, uncertainty? What is it, right? I need to release that. I need to release that in my relationships today and also reminding me of something from the past. So source is saying everything is perfectly aligned for you in terms of, it's like a perfect melody for somebody. Sources say everything is perfectly aligned as far as your money is concerned, as far as your reputation, your resources, your security, your stability. Everything is perfectly line, aligned for you, Pisces. And so it's okay to go ahead and close out cycles. Close them out in love.
close them out in love. Source is saying, are you worthy? Yes, obviously you're worthy of having uh, healthy business relationships. You're worthy of, you know, um, you're worthy of friendships. You're worthy of, you know, soul family relationships. That's not always related to you. Worthy of these relationships. Here we have the two of pentacles. So source is sending some more creative ideas for somebody to start dreaming bigger. And also, like I said, you got to detach. You got to detach from those, you know, your demons. Demons of fear, doubt, uncertainty. I'm not sure what are other people going to think. It doesn't matter what they think. Your reputation is already secure. Reputation is already secure. So let's get ready to close it out, Pisces. Let's get ready to close it out again. I am talking to you if your Pisces is anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. We have the Knight of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Lover's card, the Emperor card, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Here's the thing with, with moving forward for you all. Pisces. Now you all are mutable signs. You're water signs. Water symbolizes our emotions, right? And our bodies are made up of what? 70, 75% water. So everybody has emotions. Even the people you think are emotionless, they have emotions as well, right? They're not robots. We are all divine spirits having a human experience. And, um, but some people are more spiritually dehydrated than others. So source is saying to you, when you look back at your past, it puts you in this mode right here, it puts you in fighting mode. And it, it affects other areas of your life. So let me give somebody an example. So sword energy is like connected to the element of air, which is connected to our heart chakra. Let's say, for instance, you have an issue in your family. It absolutely can affect new love coming across your path or it can affect the relationships that's connected to you right now. Because your mind can be so checked out from being emotionally dehydrated from a family situation. You may not come, you not realize that you come across as a person that's sending out mixed signals or a person who is blunt, like a person who just, just says any old thing out of their mouth. And the person is like, oh, I thought they were really a nice sweetheart. I thought they were compassionate. You all are the most compassionate sign. I thought they were compassionate, but oh my God, what's going on in their lives? They seem like they're overwhelmed. They may not even use the word overwhelmed, but they may feel like something else is going on with this Pisces, right? So source is saying, leave the past behind. Go ahead and close out the cycles, but go ahead and move on. Here we have the four of swords. Source wants you to get your rest. We have the two of cups. And so source is saying to you, some a soulmate energy is coming across your path, just like, as, um, just like this lover's card is coming across your path. So what's interesting about this right here, this, where's the, uh, do, 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 do. These two cards right here. This is attached to Gemini. This is attached to Virgo. We are not talking about a Virgo and a Gemini. What they have in common is the ruling planet Mercury. Mercury is the messenger planet. It's the communications planet, right? So let's say, for instance, in your past, whether it's your, your blood relatives, issues with the blood relatives, since we got so much air out here talking about blood relatives, you could think that certain blood relatives were highly manipulative, that's where it could have started. You could have married somebody who was highly manipulative or dated somebody who was highly manipulative or your blood relatives, some of them, like I said, could be highly, for you, some of them could be highly manipulative to a point that every time you think about it, it puts you in this mood right here. And you may not even realize that you come across the people that's spiritually dehydrated. Imagine a water sign being spiritually dehydrated, right? But source is saying water is reflective. So while you may not think that you are reflecting, you're mirroring somebody else's energy that you had an argument or a fight with or anger or whatever, other people will let you know about how they back up or how they respond to whatever it is that you're going through, Pisces. So source is saying to you, this is saying you are good enough and it's time for you to love on yourself even more. When the moon is in Gemini, what feeds you is verbal contact or learning, reading, information exchange is part of your daily routines. So if you've already had energy exchanges or verbal contact with some people that's in your life right now, and it's it's causing you to be in this mode right here, guess what it's time for you to do? It's time for you to start closing out some cycles. It's just too much of a struggle, you know, um, and you've already communicated those things, right? So again, source is saying you are good enough, you are worthy, but you got to send out the message that you are good enough and that you are worthy of moving on without certain energies. But if you're sending out a bunch of complaining about X, Y, and Z, I, nine times out of the 10, the people that you're complaining to are tired of hearing it. Their ears feel like they're about to fall off or shrivel up. Like, okay, I, if, if you keep talking about it, it's just, 
it just takes up it takes up everybody else's time and space do something about it right so to some degree this is the emperor card um source is saying to you that there's a lot of awakenings that's happening lots of awakenings that's happening um around you and everybody that's connected to you is also going through an awakening this judgment card is attached to pluto pluto is currently retrograde and pluto is a generational planet we have two planets and one of them are your ruling planet is neptune neptune is retrograde and so is pluto pluto is saying to you you're breaking generational cycles chains and curses that should that should be your only focus breaking generational cycles chains and curses now if somebody is on board with that great but if they're not i love you but i have to leave you behind it's to, it's counterproductive to where i'm trying to go i clearly see that something needs to happen generationally this is my assignment i got my marching orders and that's where i'm going i'm obeying source right and so somebody at one point the reason why something could have been overwhelming for somebody and somebody could have been overthinking something this is why we had a four you know the four of swords here and that's why source is saying get your rest is because somebody cared more about being liked than being respected. Source is saying when you get to a point where you care more about being respected than liked, then bingo, there you are, you got it, right? So that's what Source is trying to tell somebody is like, you're not intentionally trying to be a jerk. You're certainly not trying to hurt anybody, but you're, you, when it comes to your heart and your creativity, when it comes to your reputation that you work so hard to build, and when it comes to everything, when, and it's like Source rolled, literally rolled out the red carpet for somebody. And so Source is saying to you, I'm trying to get you booked and busy. <laughs> there are some people right now, there's some of you all are musically inclined, and there's some people from your past that want to reconnect with you. But so your consistency, if, 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 your consistency is key. So if you're a, a person who consistently shows up and you do the job that you're called to do, but you know your purpose in that job, like let's say, for instance, you're a healer, right? So in healing, you can be, it doesn't matter what your job title is. If source says you give that person a compliment, you may not know why you're giving them a compliment, but you could have just saved that person's life and don't even realize it, Pisces. You could, that person could have said, well, you know, I was having a really bad day and you just noticing that my hair was different, just put me in a whole different mood and didn't even realize you just healed that person. Or if God is saying to you, your purpose is to educate people and you're in spaces where you're educating people, or let's say you're a singer or a musician or whatever, go there, do your job, oper you know, do it to the best of your ability and you're because and you're, you're a cheerful giver because you're doing it for source that because you're, you're excited about pleasing source you know inside of you so you're cheerfully doing what you're doing but again you had to sacrifice something you had to sacrifice the feeling of feeling overwhelmed from something from your past so sources say when you get rid of all of the clutter and the emotional hoarding of things that's going on in your life right now things are going to be so much clearer for you it's going to feel like somebody is lucky it's going to feel like you're lucky in love, lucky in business, both in your personal and professional life, because you did, you took the work pipe, you did the work to get rid of all of the emotional baggage and everything that attaches you to the emotional baggage. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody so you can make room for a soulmate, so you can make room for, you know, love in your life, if that's what you want, you know? Here we have the Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, we have the Ace of Swords, the Judgment card again, the World card, and the Queen of Cups. So world card came out, world card came out, it came out twice. So we got justice and judgment. This is really source saying to you, it's okay. It's okay, Pisces, to go ahead and close out some cycles. But again, you're closing them out in love. And it looks like there could be two energies in particular that you are, you are, uh, sacrificing the energies that you're sacrificing and like i said it's judgment in your favor judgment and justice in your favor are god's judgment and justice you know in your favor right and so somebody at some point cared oh i'm gonna be alone people would you know people have run smear campaigns people have talked negatively about me they've done all that yes overwhelming but guess what this person is still standing you survived it so now it's time for you to thrive Start the healing from the past hurts and deep disappointments. And that's where your breakthrough is going to come in. When you ask yourselves, Pisces, what lesson did I learn from all of this? One lesson in particular that you should understand is that no weapon formed against you has prospered. And it won't. It's, it, 
you know, you can store, you can hoard those memories in your mind or you can say, okay, I do have the power. I have the power to heal myself by first detaching from certain energies that cause the pain. I don't have to keep blaming them and I don't have to com complain to everybody around me. I need to just detach. So that's what Source is trying to tell somebody is just go ahead and close out cycles. You're going through major life changes right now. And again, there will be people, like I said before, who will swear up and down that you're harshly judging them. But if they want access to your universe, absolutely, you should be judging them, right? But because they're out, because you're closing out cycles, airtight. This is what the world card came out twice, just like the judgment card came out twice. You break in generational cycles, chains, and curses, and you're closing out your, your assignment. This is what the world card means. Your assignment has been fulfilled. That number 21, two plus one is three. Source is saying to you, when you look back at your past, you're optimistically moving forward. The threes are born to inspire. Threes are always looking out for the underdog, rooting for the underdog. Three loves to travel, to gather information from all over the world and other life experiences. So it's a lot of things that's happening here when you remove two energies off of your scales, right? Two energies off your scales. So that's what you're breaking up with, fear and doubt, and you're balancing it out. And again, you have compassion for those energies. See, this is why I've been mentioning, this is why I've been talking about in the past if you feel like there is a puppeteer and a puppet, let's say for instance, you feel like somebody is not, somebody is kind of on the fence and they feel some kind of way about you. So they're sitting there entertaining gossip about you. Guess what? They have to go too. Doesn't matter who they are, they have to go. Because if they sit there and allow the, their irrigating eye gate to be contaminated long enough, that's what they're gonna start reflecting. So again, there are some people who seem like they innocently just sit back and just act like they don't know what's going on. When they have succumbed to, the puppet would be the one who succumbs to powerless and passive behavior. The puppeteer is the one, is the one who is forceful, materialistic, and egotistical, right? That's a, a, out of alignment number eight. You, your number eight is aligned because you know you have a clear focus of where you want your business to go. You know clearly what you want your life to look like. You clearly have a good product and service that's going to create infinite amount of resources for you. But when you're dealing with people who have succumbed to powerless and passive behavior and basically letting people control them like a puppet, and that puppet, like I said, is forceful, egotistical, and also materialistic, you need to cut both of them off. It doesn't matter who they are. But first, you got to recognize internally what are your fear and doubt and uncertainty, whatever your demons are, as it relates to those energies. Because guess what? If you stay connected to either one of them, you are essentially stepping down off of your queen of pentacles throne to entertain it. I, now I got to, I got to, you know, let everybody know that I'm a good person and I got to stay connected. And, and, and guess what? If you stay connected to the one that's the puppet, Eventually, they're going to tell you what the uh, the puppeteer is saying. Either way, you don't care. That's outside of your universe because you're closing up, you're closing both of them out. Somebody is starting to learn how all of this works is that you can, you, every time you're asking God for something, first of all, you're not going passively to the throne of grace. Or you're not going to the passively to God's throne. You're going boldly to the throne. You're saying, God, I'm, I'm ready to get married. This is where we see this horse and carriage right here. God, I'm ready to get married. I, yes, I'm independent. I can take care of myself. Getting married, by the way, is either in business or love. Not everybody wants to get married in love. I want, I'm ready for a business partnership. Let's just use business, for example. I'm ready for a business partnership. Okay, so what do I need to sacrifice in my life right now? You got everything laid out for me like a red carpet, right? There's still some people from your past. If you're in a part of a music industry or something like that, people are still raving about you from the past. Has anybody talked to Pisces? Where's Pisces been? Has anybody talked? We, we like to get in contact with Pisces. We, we, we love working with Pisces. That's what people are saying. Or whatever jobs you've had in the past, people are like, everything, like I said, is perfectly aligned. Even for the ones who are talking negatively about you. They seem like they were overwhelmed or checked out or whatever. All you know is that they have zero power over your reputation. Your consistency is key. That's what Source has been trying to tell somebody the whole time. It's like we we don't have we don't have dominion over other human beings. We don't. We don't. So but your consistency is key. So here we go. A win-win is outcome uh win-win outcome is forecast. Yeah. 
This is about balance. Balance, balance, balance. So when you don't let other things in your universe overwhelm you to a point where you look like the bad guy in every area of your universe, because you got something over here that's been lingering in the in the in the in the balance and throwing you out of alignment, and so it's it's causing you to say the wrong things to people and and come across as a person who is not compassionate. And again, Pisces is the most compassionate sign. Then you know, okay, I, I need to I need to I need to look at other areas of my life. And start listening to my intuition, which is the voice of source inside of you. Two and eight is ten. Ten, again, is the number of instant manifestation. What are you instantly manifesting? What are you instantly manifesting? So, yeah. That's what I'm seeing for you. Divine abundance. You were born to align with love's will, Pisces. And serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance, not chaser. And when we say abundance, we're talking about abundance in every area of your life. Abundance in your friendships, romantic relationships, your, your, your money, abundance in every area of your life that you want abundance in your life. Let's get ready to close this out, Pisces. Let's go. Divine abundance is coming your way. Make room for it. Make room for it. If Look around your universe. Look at... Just like, just like if you know you got boxes that's sitting over in the corner, you've been saying, I've been trying to make room because I want to I wanna make room. I want to make it a more, I want that energy to flow freely through my house. So what do I need to clean up? What areas do I feel like there's just like buildup over there, right? I need to clean out that space, open up these windows, do an energetic cleansing, right? So, but what do I physically need to remove from my universe, right? Is it people, places, and things? Am I afraid of what people think, what they're saying? 23. I am adventurous. You have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love change and, and excitement and need both to feel truly alive. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. 23. 23, 23, 23. All right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let me make sure I got everything here. Yep, this card, this card, this card that card okay yeah all right yeah pisces this is nice very very nice when i look at these cards yeah primal 32 there is a there's no way around but through it the very truth that lies within you right so there's no other way around it sometimes people feel like well you know i'll just feed people with a long handle spoon and maybe things will change if you've seen that there has been no change in certain energies that you're connected to and you feel more and more manipulated or like all of this air energy down here i'm afraid of being by myself if if i turn cut certain people out of my life or whatever the case may be sources like then you're holding yourself back because you don't see any witchcraft up here nobody's using any witchcraft nobody's using any you know, putting any hexes on you or sending any bad energy your way, you're divinely protected. This is a tower card, divinely protected. So if anything, whatever energies you are releasing that's been overwhelming for you and been trying to weigh you down in some way, shape, form, or fashion, that same negative energy they could be trying to send your way is coming back and hitting them. And even the passive and people who have uh, succumbed to passive and powerless behavior, it's just like, well, you know what? I'm not getting involved. I'm just listening to certain things, but I didn't really say anything. You have to say something because why do people feel so comfortable gossiping to the puppet? You know what I'm saying? Like, why do people feel so, you know, feel so so comfortable gossiping about you to another person. You already know You already know what the puppeteer is all about. That's not a shock or a surprise. But what's sometimes shocking and surprising to people is, and a lot of people don't even consider this, is why do people feel so comfortable talking negatively about me to you? That person has to go too, or those people have to go too. Well, I didn't say anything, but you sat on the phone for two, three hours and listen to somebody talk negatively about me, and you didn't say, mm hmm, mm hmm, or you didn't just shut it down at first when you said, listen, I don't even want to be involved. If you got something to say about Pisces, then you need to, you need to take it directly to Pisces. I don't even want to be involved in it. Those people are more dangerous than the one that's carrying the sword in their hand, constantly poking you with the sword. Because at least you can see them coming with the sword. You don't see the person with the sword behind their back. You're sitting there thinking, well, it's, you know, they're harmless. They, they, they cause this, they keep you in this thinking of like this insecure thinking. 
Like, okay, I don't know if I can really trust this person, especially if they've already shown you on numerous occasions that they sit there and listen to stuff about you or, or they you've witnessed them. Like some people have been in, in, in situations where, let's say for instance, it is a, uh, you know, you introduce your new per, uh, person to your parents and your parents... Well, let's say you no. Let's not even say your parents. Let's say you introduce your new person to your friends, right? And your friends are rude to that person. They're mean spirited or whatever. And and you don't sit. You don't say anything. That person that's that's bring, being brought into a circle has every right to look at you and go, "This isn't. This isn't what I. This is. This doesn't work for me." Because why? They don't feel secure, stable. They don't feel secure protected or nurtured in your presence. You bring them into a circle and you let people attack them to see how they're going to handle it. That person is in the classiest possible way can say, this doesn't work for me. They can say it right in the middle of it. This doesn't work for me. Maybe that's how you used to do with people in your past, but that doesn't work for me. I don't feel, I don't feel nurtured in that space versus a person who says, well, hold on, because really it's the, the friends that are saying, we don't respect you, Pisces. So we're going to mistreat everybody you bring in a circle and pretend like it's a test. So source is saying in some instances, Pisces, yes, you want to go along with the flow, but, it, but you got to create some kind of structure. That's what Saturn being retrograde is about. That's what's causing a lot of people to feel some kind of way, especially if you're a person that's like, you know, uh, usually go along with the flow of things emotionally. Uh, Saturn being retrograde is bringing all of that to a full stop. And that's how some people feel. Some people feel like, man, you know what? I, I feel like I'm forced to create some kind of rules and boundaries and traditions and structure. Absolutely. It's your universe. Or else you might as well just leave your front door wide open and just let anything in. Just run in and out of your house. All kinds of spirits in and out of your house. So that's what's happening right now. So get ready for an amazing future ahead. But it depends on when you are ready to close out cycles. And I'm talking about closing them out airtight, which is sources saying here. There's two situations in particular you need to just go ahead and just release. Two situations you need to go ahead and release. And yes, they will feel like you're harshly judging them, but that is okay. You now have structure, rules, right? And so it's going to release the heaviness off of your scale so that you can move on and live your absolute best life. So you can go ahead and live your absolute best life. But that is what I have for you, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. I was just trying to see if there's anything else. Let's put one of these cards. Nothing ever goes away until it teaches us what we need to know. That's right. So take three deep breaths. Think about a negative situation or problem in your life that keeps showing up over and over again. Whatever is chasing you is holding a deeper, more meaningful message. Make the effort to stop and listen. That's right. Make the effort to stop and listen. That is what I have for you. So as you're continuing to learn more and more about what nurtures you and what doesn't nurture you um, and making room and sacrificing whatever is in your universe that is causing this overwhelming feeling for you on your internal scales when you feel out of balance either in your personal or your professional life sources like the sooner you take action the better for you that's what i have for you and um yeah that's what i have for you and um like i said before there are some energies um in your life that could be going through some people from your past that could be going through some karma right now or they you know or or people that you're about to release for them, it's going to feel like, like I said, like you're judging them. But again, your primary focus is on your, your purpose. So that's what I have for you. And I'll see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.